Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Here we go. Today, find out how the price of Ripple has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, RSI and MACD show. If you are unfamiliar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos below. Looking at the Ripple hourly time frame, the price moved quickly to the downside with around 10.3% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 20.9 cents. We can see that the sellers are taking over because the volume was high, showing that this move was strong. Looking at the hourly simple moving averages, the current price is below all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bearish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will break it to the upside above the current price of around 21.6 cents. For longer price development, the daily time frames should also be considered as the shorter time frames are not as accurate. Jumping to the hourly relative strength index, currently, the hourly RSI of 33 can be found in the lower region, meaning that the price is being more or less oversold and we can expect a comeback or for the price at least to remain stable for some time. Jumping to the hourly MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the upside. Looking at the three hourly simple moving averages, the current price is below all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bearish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA will play as resistance or the price will break it to the upside above the current price of around 23.3 cents. However, the shorter time frames are not very accurate and the bigger time intervals like the daily should also be considered for longer price development. Jumping to the 3 hourly relative strength index, currently, the 3 hourly RSI of 23 can be found in the lower region, meaning that the price is being more or less oversold and we can expect a comeback or for the price at least to remain stable for some time. Jumping to the 3 hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. But it's expected for the price to remain the same for some time because the MACD histogram shows that the momentum at the moment is shifting upwards. You should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish. Moving to the daily simple moving averages, the price broke the 100 SMA to the downside decisively with higher than average volume, which is a strong signal. For this time interval, the current price is below all of the simple moving averages, which looks bearish and you should keep an eye on the closest SMA, the 100 SMA will play as resistance or the price will peak above the current price which is around 23.4 cents. Moving to the daily relative strength index, the current daily RSI is at 35, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. Looking at the daily MACD, the trend is currently going down because the MACD line is below the signal line. We can expect for the price to continue going down or perhaps remain at least stable because the MACD histogram shows the momentum currently being strong. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time.